already saw um, images with the spider four, and uh, you can see that the housing of the spider is the same shape than um, the other spider three. But believe me, this is just the housing and the shape inside. Everything is new. Spider is um, still calibrating TVs at the moment. The TV version is not available. Please be patient for, I think, another six weeks, maybe eight. So that's the reason why this is a bit um, flat in contrast here. What Spider 4 will do for you is um, calibrate your monitor, of course laptops as well, front projectors, and you know, your iPad. But, and that's new, your iPhone as well. And uh, here, just uh, for your information, if you have a Spider 3, the Spider Gallery app, which is available in the App Store, is um, backwards compatible to your Spider 3 sensor as well. So we did a lot of new things into the, um, the Spider 4 sensor. It has seven sensors, very high stability, double shielded filters for longer life, and we improved the consistency, 26% increased accuracy. So we measured this with an average of um, different screens, of course and um, the 26% is um, compared to the, to the previous model, the Spider 3. Of course, we um, made the, uh, the software more easy to use. It's really easier to use than before, and um, it's still an intuitive user interface. We have the three versions of Spider, the Spider 3, Express, uh, sorry, Spider 4 Express, oh. Spider 4 Pro, and Spider 4 Elite. New is the new hardware. The sensor inside, nothing is like the old one, everything is new inside. We have the seven sensors with the higher stability, I already told you this. It's a living calibration tool. What does it mean, a living calibration tool? We put a feature in, which is called the monitor type adaption. So this means the sensor, and if you um, install your, your software, we will ask you um, when you install the software if it's okay for you to share information about your monitor display type and the physics of your monitor with our server. So if you agree, then your Spider software sends a lot of physical um, information to our server and we can work with these information. So we can see how green is your green and how blue is your blue and how red is your red. And um, and all the changings um, in the aging process of your monitor. So this will improve the calibration or, of course, then the ICC profile in the end a lot. And you saw it already, it's iPhone and iPad ready. You can download the Spider Gallery app for your iPad or your iPhone from the App Store, of course. And then install the software on this device, on your mobile device. And in the Spider Gallery, there is a tool to send you an email to your desktop computer. In this email, you will get a link, a link to download something for your desktop computer or your laptop, of course. This tool, which has to be installed on your desktop or laptop computer, in this tool, um, this is the function to drive the spider on your main computer. So the Spider Gallery app is free of charge, of course. And it calibrates iPads and iPhones, of course, and um, the capability um, with the Spider 3 users. Okay, so the spider is on your iPad, and um, the sensor has to be placed on this little um, outlined spider. 
So your iPad or your iPhone hasn't any USB port. Therefore, your spider is connected to your desktop computer. And the little app you downloaded will communicate with your iPad or your iPhone. So the software plays different um, color references and your desktop computer sends the measured color back to your iPad or to your iPhone. And the Spider Gallery app can calculate with the uh, deviation of these both colors, the reference, the should be color, with a measured one, the difference. And this will be included um, in the uh, correction curves. Once the calibration is done, your Spider Gallery app will offer you to, um, to have a, a slideshow in your gallery and even your Facebook or Flickr galleries. On the lower right side, you can see that you are able to switch on or off the calibration. So you can display your image with the correction curve and without, of course. Let's get um, back to Spider 4, Express Pro and Elite. What is the difference between these three versions? And what is new in these versions? So first we have Spider 4 Express. This is made for workstations. So if you are a web designer, for example, so you don't need to print your work, but you have to rely on the color which is on your monitor, then Spider 4 Express is the correct tool for you. I assume that your that your um, color workflow then is sRGB normally or Adobe RGB 1998. You already saw the five points which are listed here again because of they are included in um, all versions of Spider 4. The Spider 4 Express is the easiest to use. The reason is for your sRGB and Adobe RGB workflow, you have to calibrate to Gamma 2.2 and 6500 Kelvin. So this is the, the um, fixed target in Spider 4 Express. So you don't need to choose that. Spider 4 Express will do this automatically. Also new is the gamut graph of your monitor, which will be displayed in the end of the calibration process. Once the profile is created and it's stored automatically in the correct folder, then you see this gamut graph. This um, red triangle here with the bubbles, with the green and the blue and the red bubble here, this is the gamut of your monitor display. So you can compare it with sRGB, with NTSC, and with Adobe RGB 1998. Here on top, you will see the percentage um, covered of sRGB. So this is just 70% of sRGB, which is, by the way, quite normal for a laptop. Next spider is Spider 4 Pro. This is designed for users um, who want to print the images. If you're a photographer or a creative professional and you need to print with your own printer or with a printing service, then please use Spider 4 to calibrate your monitor. Here you see the five points the known ones, and the sixth one is it calibrates multiple monitors, which means if you have connected a secondary screen on your monitor, you can calibrate it with Spider 4 Pro. Spider 4 Express is for one monitor system only. So included is, and this is a bit tricky to understand, I think, a side license, which means with all the spiders, Spider 4 Express, Spider 4 Pro, and Spider 4 Elite, 
you can calibrate all your own computers and monitors, of course, on one location. So if you have 10 monitors, 10 computers, feel free, calibrate them all. The multiple monitor calibration means if you have a second monitor connected to your computer, then Spider 4 Pro will do this. And it has an ambient light sensor. You can see it here on the back of the Spider 4 Pro. There is the LED, the blue one, and here's another um, circle. Which, which means um, that's the ambient light sensor. The ambient light sensor measures the brightness of your ambient light and will adapt your monitor brightness to a fitting level to the ambient light situation. The eighth point is a TV calibration, which is an optional upgrade, now also working on a Macintosh computer. And Spider 4 Pro has now a monitor quality analysis. This is included in Spider 4 Pro as well. What does it mean? Here, the first point you can see, it, it, it has also the gamut um, overview, like the Spider 4 Express. But we included more. Here, the tone response curve the brightness and the contrast, and white point at different OSD settings. It means your monitor offers you different pre-settings. So your desktop monitor could have a white point which is um, not, um, not uh, named with the color temperature like 5000 Kelvin and 6500 and so on and so on. So it's named like um, white point video, white point games, white point um, presentation, white point whatever. So a lot of different white point settings. The same is with the tone response curve. Here it's um, important to measure them, all these presets, and to find out which preset is the closest to the target you need to calibrate to. So, for example, your workflow is sRGB or Adobe RGB 1998, then you know you need a Gamma 2.2. So check out the tone response curve presets on your monitor and you see that, I will give you it's just an example, that the video um, tone response curve is the closest to Gamma 2.2 and not internet or games or whatever. So then you know, okay, I just need to set my monitor first to the tone response curve video and to the best uh, white point setting as well. And then you start your calibration. The advantage is that the corrections in the ICC profile are smaller than and the linearization of the color primaries is smoother than ever before. This feature offers just the Spider 4 product family. Then we have the Spider 4 Elite, which is designed for photographers and the creative professionals who need to ensure maximum color control and flexibility. So let's start with the five butter points um, like the others. And the number six is also the ME light sensor is the front projector calibration, which is included in the Spider 4, is unlimited calibration targets and specials. Um, the uh, Spider 4 allows you to calibrate to each gamma, to each white point, and um, you could even edit your, your uh, tone response curve if you want. And you have the video specials. So um, video specials like PAL, like SICAM, like um, Sinian or NTSC, stuff like this. It has also the optional TV calibration with an upgrade with a Macintosh. I think I told it already. And number 10 is it calibrates multiple monitors and it allows to visual fine tune the result in the end. This sounds a bit strange, but it's not. Just let me explain what it means. 
So you can see that um, you have some sliders, the blue, red, and the purple and green slider. <clears throat> also a bit the gamma and the brightness. These sliders is really a fine tuning. That's not a visual calibration of your monitor. Why do you need that? You know that if you have a, monitor, a computer system with two monitors and you want to match them, you use the, in the Spider 4 Elite software, it's called the Studio Match function. In the end of the calibration, the colors or the monitors, they are matched together. But if you look at both monitors at the same time, you could see that sometimes the color is not really matching. So there is a very small difference between them. This is because of human eye um, color perception. That means if you look in two different light sources, like a neon tube and maybe a light bulb, you will see that white has another, a different color. So different light sources, they have a different, um, a different, um, what is the word? Frequency is not the good word for that. Uh, a different spectrum, that's what I meant. So, but your eye or your brain can just compensate one of these. And that's the reason why the second monitor then looks a bit, bit, bit different. So use the slider to match it, and this is very, very small correction. And then you can match them. These 10 points, and there's another 11. It has an advanced monitor quality analyzers. Advanced monitor quality analyzers, yes, it's really advanced. You know the gamut thing, the tone response, the brightness contrast, the white point at different OSD settings, you saw it already, in Spider 4 Pro. But now, Spider 4 Elite offers the screen uniformity and the color accuracy. Screen uniformity, maybe you think, mm, that was also in Spider 3 Elite. Yes, you're right, but we, um, we improved it. We improved it a lot. Look here. The um, procedure, more or less, is the same. You measure your monitor. If this is your monitor. You measure at nine, nine spots. Here, in the middle, and on the right side. And then in the middle line, here left, in the middle, and on the right side, and the lower line. Right, middle, uh, left, middle, and the right one. And then the spider gives you a feedback about hotspots regarding color uniformity. So this graph here is the color uniformity of your monitor. You can see that the color differs from the middle to the, the, the lower left side. No sensor in the world can compensate that. That's impossible. But that's the reason why some of the monitors, um, they cost two and a half thousand euro they have a very stable um, color uniformity or a very equal color uniformity. And um, the cheaper monitors, they have a huge one. So um, this is the quality of the monitor. And on the right side, you can see the uniformity in luminance, which means, uh, let's call it a vignetting issue on your monitor. Here in the middle is 0%, so the, the correct luminance, of course, it's calibrated to the center. But look here, the lower, uh, the lower right side, it's minus 10% of luminance. So you can see that there is a vignetting process with your monitor and brightness. Very, very important to know because of if you are work with your images here, for example, and um, you see maybe it's a landscape image and there is a forest here on this um, lower side and um, under the, the trees you can see a bit the, um, the, um, the wooden sticks. I don't know the right English word for that. Sorry for my poor English. So um, there is a big texture. Perfect. So, but here in this zone, it, may, it seems to be underexposed. 
then just move your image here to the center and if you can see texture here in this area then so keep it and don't edit the image don't use Photoshop to to make it brighter so that's the feedback you can use in your um, post-production and in uh, the monitor quality analysis also includes a color accuracy um, measuring tool which means the spider will measure 12 24 or 48 different available color patches by the way 48 um, available color patches if you look at spider checker you will see that these 48 colors are included in spider checker and this shows you the quality of colors that your monitor can reproduce after the calibration here on the left side you can see the LAB value of the um, should be or the reference color and here on the right side you see the measured color in LAB as well so you have the result in Delta E Delta E is a color difference between two colors and um, just for your information a Delta E of 1.0 this is barely visible, you and me, by experienced eyes. So a normal person um, who's not related to, um, to um, post-production and so on, they wouldn't see the, the, the deviation. And in the end of the monitor quality analyzer, you have the monitor rating. So the Spider 4 Elite software gives you a feedback about the monitor's quality. In gamut, in tone response, in the white point, in the contrast, color uniformity, the luminance uniformity is here, so color is here. The color accuracy, so the differences between the, the reference color and the measured one, and an overall rating. This allows you to um, to compare your different monitors or even with the monitors of your friends maybe um, in a community or something like that so this allows you to to see if your monitor is good in um, in uh, uniformity for example so I think that's a nice feature to have let's um, look again in all these updates um, in a very very rough overview here um, you can see that all these blue crosses here these are the new features and um, that spider 4 family has a lot of new features um, of course um, the spider 4 express as well so the gamut graphing and all these spiders they have the improved hardware with the better sensors and um, the most devil one and so on and so on so you learned it already um, in the beginning of this um, presentation just a quick overview about the other products and um, here by the way tomorrow we have a um, webinar about camera calibration camera and raw calibration so if you are interested in seeing how it works I will demo the spider cube, the spider checker, and the lens call um, directly and live on the computer so you can see how it works. I will use a raw converter and you see um, how to use it. So spider cube is to contrast balance your workflow, while spider checker is a color balancing tool. And by the way, these both products are a perfect team together so you can mount the spider cube on top of the spider checker so you have um, everything together a contrast balancing tool and then here the color balancing tool um, this is um, available as a, I think it's a combo it's a good word for that um, which is called spider checker pro so both tools are in one package then we have the spider lens call, which is the only tool which is not color related. This is for the sharpness of your camera 
and lens combination. Also tomorrow in the webinar um, I will um, show you how it works and how to use it. So if you are interested in deeper information then please join the webinar tomorrow. Um, it's, um, yeah, tomorrow in the evening as well. Um, on our website www.datacolor.eu click on um, the learning section and on the online seminars and you can register um, the webinar free of charge as well. And we have the spider print which is to profile your printer. We will do webinars about spider print as well so just um, look and, and then register for these webinars as well. If you need help after this webinar or with your spider or with your workflow and you are not sure if something is correct what you are doing um, in your post-production then um, color related of course then please ask us that's not a problem we have a ticket support which is free of charge and we are um, in or online in the ticket support from Monday to Friday of course um, 24 hours uh, we can answer your questions in English in German in French in um, Italian and in Spanish. Uh, the direct um, URL to our uh, support system is support.datacolor.com. If you are in a rush, it's um, very urgent, you can also call us. That's our phone support. It's also free of charge. It's from Monday to Friday from 9 o'clock to half past 5 German or Swiss time. So we are located in Zurich in Switzerland, that's Zurich time here. Um, and this also in English, in German, in French, in Italian and in Spanish. The number is, and that's not a, not a mistake here, it's a 00 800 700 800 70. Please dial a double O in the beginning because of this is a free of charge number from whole Europe. So very important to dial the, the, the double O. Um, more efficient, and um, this is just a hint from me, is our um, ticket support. The reason is we can send you a manual how to do it or even a link to a video uh, which shows you how to solve your issue. And this is of course then easier to understand because of you can repeat it again and again and again to check out if really everything is correct or not. Um, just on phone we explain it and then you hang up and afterwards um, um, I'm not sure what did he say so that's the reason uh, the ticket support is uh, more safe you um, got this information about this webinar here with our um, newsletter and uh, I just want to um, remind you um, about the, the trade-in offer which uh, gives you a 40 uh, euro rebate to Spider 4 Pro if you send us your, um, your old Spider 3 or 2 or even a, a foreign um, product from another manufacturer. Um, if it's a calibration tool for monitors, um, a hardware calibration tool of course, then um, you will uh, save 40 euros with the Spider 4 Pro or 50 euros for a Spider 4 Elite. And um, this was not a joke. All what you have to do then with a Spider 3 or an older Spider, just cut the USB plug and send it to us in an envelope that's um, not so so um, expensive then. Um, just in an envelope. And, and But the, the manual how to do that is of course in um, the PDF which is um, linked with the, with the newsletter. So now I want to get your questions. If you have some questions, please let me know. Send them to me and I will read your questions and uh, I will answer them uh, live. So um, let me check out. My little chat box here is a very small one, so I have to, to scroll a lot. Please be patient. Um, the first one, um, wrote or asked answer me when you finish but is it real worth changing my 3 version to the 4th? Um, 
Yes, um, the Spider 3, of course, is not a bad one. Um, definitely not. Uh, but we increased the Spider 4, um, and I told you already 26% in accuracy. And that's really a lot. And remember the uh, function of the, of the display type adaption. This is um, just able with the new hardware. Um, it's not just the sensors and the filters which are changed. Uh, what is also changed is um, the, the firmware on the main board of the spider. I hope the, um, that's the correct word for that. So the um, electronic stuff which is in the, in the sensor. Um, this is also improved and so we can use the monitor type adaption as well. Um, yes, we increased it, definitely. Um, it is a pity <laughs> um, that calibrating my Symbian Nokia E6 isn't supported. Not yet. Um, just submit our newsletters. We are working on, um, on uh, further solutions. That's um, not, a, not a question. But um, I really can't say um, if we will... Um, support that if it's possible, if it's um, um, physical, um, able to do that, um, maybe it's impossible, I'm not sure. So of course we have to find out. But um, thanks for your request, so let's look into it. Here's a question, Spider 4 has seven sensors, how many were there in Spider 3? Spider 3 also had seven sensors, but um, the Spider is the only one with seven sensors. So that's not a new part. The new part was not the seven. The new part was that these seven sensors are um, reworked or improved in accuracy and that they are double shielded now or coated. So which means um, they are protected. When turning the calibration on off, does it compare the new one to the previous calibration or the original profile that came with the machine. I think you are talking about the Spider Gallery app, so on the iPad or the iPhone. This on-off means it's the calibrated or the, co the corrected colors and off means the original colors of your iPad or your iPhone without any correction, so which is the default um, color. If you are talking about the spider proof feature in spider uh, for express pro or elite then um, it's the same on means it's the new calibrate freshly calibrated screen off means without any um, color profile so without any correction can I use Spider 3 Pro on a portable PC? So if you're really talking about Spider 3 Pro, yes, of course, on a portable PC means a netbook, I think, or a normal laptop. Yes, of course, you can use it. And Spider 4 Pro as well, So um, which will be improved then as well because of the, uh, the monitor type adaption. After I calibrate my monitor, then do a print, the photo is dark. I also use, I have to scroll, use the Spider Print 3, my printer, I an Epson R2880. Um, I'm quite sure that you forgot to use the um, ambient light feature in your Spider um, 3. And again, it's in, um, also included in Spider 4. Um, just use the ambient light compensation. The spider will measure the brightness of your ambient light and will adapt the, the monitor's luminance to a fitting level to your ambient light. If you are interested to learn more about that and why this is very important, then please let me invite you to our webinars about monitor calibration so we have more time then to clarify these issues um, more detailed, of course. So um, I think, but the solution is really to use the, the ambient light feature. So end of you, thank yous, no further questions. Yeah, so I think everything is clarified. 
Um, then just let me thank you. Thank you for listening. And uh, if you have some um, further questions, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I have the questions after a webinar. Then when everything is finished, then oh, I, I forgot to ask this and this. Let us know. Write us an email or contact us um, uh, in our support system. Of course, we will answer all your questions. That's not a big deal. For us, um, just let me invite you again for our um, further webinars. Tomorrow we have one about camera calibration, so raw calibration. Uh, you will see how it works um, to raw profile or raw calibrate your contrasts and your color balance with the spider cube and spider checker and what you can do to make sure that your, your camera and lens combination is the crispiest and sharpest ever. So just um, just join our webinar tomorrow and um, yeah. So then thank you and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.